Hey, what is up everyone? In this video, I want to talk about all the new Pirate Legend cosmetics that got added in this update. So with Season 8, it's basically the Pirate Legend and people who are loyal to Pirate Legends against the Reapers. So with that, we got a lot of new cosmetics for Reapers and the Pirate Legends that we can play around with this season and try to unlock. So we got some new cosmetic sets. The first is the Mysterious Stranger set. So this is like, you know, the Mysterious Stranger that sits in the back of the tavern. We can get clothes that look like him. So this set is going to be unlocked by getting to different levels within the Guardians of Fortune faction. So the belt is at level 150. The Mysterious Stranger's boots is at level 110. The gloves is at level 130. The Str Mysterious Stranger's hat is at level 200. That's a really high level for a hat that's kind of basic, not going to lie. At level 160 we have the Mysterious Stranger's jacket. At level 170, we have the Mysterious Stranger's peg leg. That's actually a pretty cool peg leg. It's a different variant of the legendary one. And then finally, we have at level 180, the Mysterious Stranger's shirt, which that one also looks pretty nice. It's a pretty clean set if you want to go with something that's kind of more like dark theme. This is actually pretty good tucking clothes, to be honest. All right, so our next set is called the Guardian set. And basically this is the new version of all the ghost cosmetics so the ghost cosmetics have been in the game for a while it's interesting to see a new variant of them being added for this new seasons update so all these are going to be based off commendations and if you want to find where these commendations are go into your pirate log go to reputation and then go all the way over to where guardians of fortune is and click on that and you'll see all the commendations related to the pirate lords faction and doing all these we'll start unlocking these different items so starting off with the Guardian Ghost Compass, this requires Ghost Fort Commendation. So this Commendation requires you to conquer Skeleton Forts while wearing the Ghostly Curse. If you don't know what the Ghostly Curse is, definitely check out this other video where I talk about how to get all the curses from this season. Next is the Guardian Ghost Fishing Rod. This requires the Ghost Ship Commendation. The Ghost Ship Commendation requires you to vanquish Skeleton Ships while wearing the Ghostly Curse. Honestly, most of these Commendations are going to be you wearing the Ghostly Curse, so you can't really unlock any of these until you get that curse. Next is the Guardian Ghost Pocket Watch. This requires you to unlock the Ghost Lord Commendation. So the Ghost Lord Commendation is defeating Ashen Lords while wearing the Ghostly Curse. Next is the Guardian Ghost Spyglass. This requires you to unlock the Proving Your Worth Commendation. I'll be honest y'all, with this Commendation I was having trouble finding it. Let me know in the comments below if you were able to find the Proving Your Worth Commendation and just type it down there if you know what it's for. I, I don't know, I might just be blind to this one. I, I missed it. Moving on though, let's get to the Guardian Ghost Banjo. This is a cool looking one, and this requires the Poltergeist Commendation. The Poltergeist Commendation requires you to wear the Ghostly Curse and play We Shall Sail Together with at least one other Ghostly Pirate. So I think this can be anyone that's on your crew or another crew. Next is the Guardian Ghost Concertina. This is the same Commendation as the previous one. Continuing with that Commendation is also the Ghost Drum and the Ghost Hurdy Gurdy. All of these instruments look really nice to me. Following that we have the Guardian Ghost Bucket, and this requires the You Slimed Him Commendation, which I think is supposed to be a reference to Ghostbusters, which is pretty cool. So the You Slimed Him Commendation requires you to be sick on one of your crew while wearing the Ghostly Curse. So this is really easy to do. I would just say the easiest way is just to grab some bait and eat that, and then you'll eventually be sick. And if your crewmate's not near you, you could always go into a bucket. I think that'll count if you take that bucket and throw it on them. Next, we have this nice looking lantern called the Guardian Ghost Lantern. And this requires the Spooky Stories Commendation. So the Spooky Stories Commendation requires you to complete the Seabound Soul Tall Tale while wearing the Ghostly Curse. This is another one that's very easy to do. It won't take you too long to get done. Following that, we have the Guardian's Ghost Shovel. This requires the Bring It On Commendation. So the Bring It On Commendation requires you to, after receiving the Blessing, complete a Pirate Legend Voyage while representing the Guardians of Fortune. So what that means is basically, I don't think you have to have the Curse on, but you're supposed to unlock the Curse and get the Blessing for it. Then you have to do a Pirate Legend Voyage and complete it while having on the War Table being like active for the Guardians of Fortune. So it's three things you gotta do to get this one unlocked. So next we have the Guardian Ghost Speaking Trumpet. This one again requires the Proving Your Worth Commendation. Following that we had the Guardian Ghost Tankard. This also requires the You Slimed Him Commendation. 
So now we're moving on into the Guardian Ghost clothes, starting with the Guardian Ghost belt, which requires the Broken Bones combination. So the Broken Bones combination requires you to wear the Ghostly Curse and slay a pirate wearing the Skeleton Curse. This one might be a little difficult, because not only do you have to kill another player for this one, but you also have to have them wearing the Skeleton Curse. Next we have the Boots, which require the Order of Ghouls combination. So this combination requires you to defeat Skeletons while wearing the Ghostly Curse. This one shouldn't be too bad, I'd recommend going to a Skeleton for it for the quickest way to complete this combination. Next we have the Guardian Ghost Eye Patch. This requires the Spectral Spectacle combination. So this one's a pretty easy one. It requires you to set off Athena's Fortune Fireworks while wearing the Ghostly Curse. This literally doesn't take long at all. Just go to the Merchant's Alliance and grab those fireworks and you can shoot them off pretty quickly. Next we have the Guardian Ghost Gloves. This also requires the Order of Ghouls combination. After that we have the Guardian Ghost Hat. This requires the Ghostly Apparition combination. So this combination requires you to strike a ship with a wreath ball while wearing the ghostly curse. Now if you don't know how to get the wreath ball, the easiest way is you have to have like the top tier level for the Order of Souls voyages and you can unlock the ghost ship voyages from that. And that is basically the equivalent to the Flameheart World event that we used to have in the game. So if you're a top tier Order of Souls player right now, you can do that. Next we have the Guardian's Ghost Hook which requires the Magpie's Revenge combination. I really like the name for this combination. I wonder if they'll make it a title, because that would be pretty cool. But this combination requires you to wear the Ghostly Curse and sink ships representing the Servant of Flame. So the easiest way to do this is put on the Ghostly Curse and then just go do the new PvP matchmaking. Next we have the Guardian Ghost Jacket, and this requires the Quite the Collection combination. So this combination requires you to have received the blessing and then hand in Reaper's Bones Emissary Flags to the Mysterious Stranger. So that's one new thing that got changed this season, whereas before you used to have to sell all of the Emissary Flags, even Reaper's Bones Emissary Flags, to the Reaper's Bones. But now you can sell Reaper's Bones Emissary Flags to the Athena's Fortune, which means it will help your Athena's Fortune rep go up. So that's a really nice change. The next one is the Guardian Ghost Peg Leg. This requires the Too Many to Count combination. So the Too Many to Count combination requires you to have received the Blessing, which is the Ghost Curse, and then sink ships representing the Servant of Flame. So this is very similar to the other combination we just talked about. So the easiest way to get both of these done is just do the PvP matchmaking and make sure you have the Ghost Curse on. Next we have the Guardian Ghost Trousers, which also requires the Quite the Collection combination that we talked about earlier. And now we're finally moving into my favorite category, and this is the weapons. So first we have the Guardian Ghost Blunderbuss, which requires the Pretty Good at This combination. So the Pretty Good at This combination requires you to have received the Blessing, and then reach the largest possible Allegiance streak for the Guardians of Fortune. Which I believe the max streak is 4 wins, so you gotta get 4 wins in a row in order to get this combination done. So next we're looking at the Guardian Ghost Eye of Reach. This requires the Magpie's Revenge combination which is the one we talked about earlier, so this shouldn't be too hard to get. Our next weapon also requires the same combination, and this is the Guardian Ghost Cutlass, which requires the Magpie's Revenge combination. And then finally, the Guardian Ghost Pistol requires the pretty good at this combination that the Blunderbuss required. So, get those two combinations done and you unlock yourself a new set of weapons. Alright, now we're moving into the ship sets. So we have two new ship sets that can be unlocked for Pirate Legends doing the new Guardians of Fortune faction. So our first set is going to be unlocked from getting to certain levels within the Allegiance. So that's a little bit nicer than having to have the curse. So our first ship set is the Magpie Wings ship set, which obviously if you've played Sea of Thieves for a while and you know a bit of the lore, this is a really cool ship set to finally have in the game and unlock. This is the Pirate Lord ship set, and that's just really exciting to me. So first we got the Magpie Wings capstan. This is unlocked from getting the level of 140. Next we have the figurehead, which is unlocked at level 200. Following that we have the flag at level 120. Then we have the hole at level 160. Then the sails at level 190. And then finally the wheel at level 105. So this is a pretty nice set, I like it a lot. So now our final set that we're going to talk about is the Guardian Ghost Ship set. Now this is a really cool looking set and I like it a lot. But obviously, similar to the other Guardian Ghost set we looked at earlier, this requires you to complete a lot of accommodations which require the Ghost Curse. 
So first we have the Guardian Ghost Cannons, which require the Magipies Revenge combination that we talked about earlier. Then we have the Guardian Ghost Cap Stand. This is a really nice cap stand, and this requires the Quite the Collection combination. Moving on, we have the Guardian Ghost Figurehead. This requires the Pretty Good at This combination. After that, we have the Guardian Ghost Flag. This requires the Too Many to Count combination, and I'll gotta say, I really like this flag. I think it looks really cool. Following that, we have a nice looking hole here with the Guardian Ghost Hole. This requires the Bring It On combination. After that, we have the Sails, which look really nice, and this is the Guardian Ghost Sails that require the Pretty Good at This combination. And then finally, for the same combination, the Guardian Ghost Wheel. So that covers all the new Pirate Legend cosmetics that we got in this update. It's a ton of cosmetics. It basically doubles the Pirate Legend like cosmetic shops, which really excites me because we rarely get Pirate Legend cosmetics added to these shops. I was actually kind of surprised. I just happened to come down here just to check to see if there was anything new, and I was shocked to see how much new stuff was in here. But if you enjoyed this video, it'd be great if the like and subscribe, and definitely check out all of the other Season 8 content we have on the channel. And we got tons of stuff on the channel that I think you'd like, so definitely check that stuff out. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye, y'all.